The Brookings Institute did a new poll on freedom of speech on college campuses. And um, I wanted to share the results with you real quick. We don't have much time left in this show, but I think these numbers speak for themselves. So let me just give them to you real fast. Um, one of the questions was, does the First Amendment protect hate speech? 39% said yes. 44% said no. So a plurality said no, hate speech is not protected under the First Amendment. That's actually just not true. It is protected under the First Amendment. There are super few exceptions to the First Amendment. Uh, you know, direct threats of violence is one thing that's not protected. Um, but general hate speech, like if somebody's a racist asshole and they want to say racist shit, that's protected speech. You don't get to throw somebody in jail because they said racist shit or because they're a douchebag. And honestly, that's the way it should be. We should fight racism, of course, and we should fight you know, people pushing horrible policy ideas or whatever the case may be. But you don't lock them up if they start espousing those opinions. That's crazy. But a plurality of people said, uh, no, hate speech is not protected. Pr plurality of people on college campuses. Uh, the next question was, is it okay to shut down a speaker? 51% said yes. 49% said no. Wow. So a majority of people say, yes, it's okay to shut down a speaker. Look, man, the, the main test of whether or not you really believe in free speech as a matter of principle is, do you support it for people you despise? And if you answer no, then you don't support free speech. That's not a situation where you say, oh, I support free speech, but. No, there's, then you don't support it. I believe it was Noam Chomsky who said, if you don't support free speech for those whose opinions you despise the most, you don't support it at all. And that was Noam Chomsky and Voltaire, I think, said that. There was like a thousand people who said that, who are intellectuals, who understand the way that a principled position works. By the way, this is why the ACLU actually defended, believe it or not, the KKK in the famous Skokie case. They were going to march through a predominantly Jewish town, and the ACLU said, look, we despise these people. We hate everything they stand for. They're horrendous. But as long as the march is peaceful, then of course they're allowed to do it. So... You know, it's a hard thing for people to wrap their mind around that you can have the, those two things can be true at the same time. I fucking hate this person and everything they stand for, but okay, you can speak your mind. I mean, that's how do you think I fucking feel when I come out here and defend Milo Yiannopoulos or Steven Crowder or Ben Shapiro? I think they're horrendous <laughs> and wrong about pretty much everything. So I don't want to defend them, but if it's them versus idiots trying to deplatform them and shut them down on a college campus, I don't have a choice. I have to defend them because what's next? What, you don't think people find me horrifically offensive? Go talk to a Ted Cruz voter about how they feel about me, and they'll tell you, I want to shut down that guy. I have no leg to stand on if I said I want to shut down Ben Shapiro, Milo Yiannopoulos, but then I say, oh, but you have to let me speak. Because no, there are people who find me reprehensible. So if I'm saying I'm going to let these reprehensible people speak, then I can tell the people who think I'm reprehensible, bitch, you have to let me speak. And then final one here. Is it okay to use violence to stop a speaker from speaking? Here, thankfully, we have a big drop off. 19% say yes. 81% say no. Um, though that is still a concerning number. 19% of people say use violence to stop a speaker. Yeah. I mean, that should, on its face, you should realize that that's horrendous. As a general rule, and this is across the board, anybody who engages in offensive violence, you've now become the asshole. <laughs> you've become the asshole. You're the bad person. If you're the one who does the offensive violence, even if the other person has an ideology that is horrific in every possible way, if you're the one who did the offensive violence, then you're the prick. Because you're, act you know the old saying, actions speak louder than words, that thing your mom told you a thousand times? That's kind of true. So you could say, I'm peaceful, I'm a good person, and that's why I'm going to beat the shit out of somebody who is wasn't about to attack me. Well, no, you're a shitty person who just beat the shit out of somebody who wasn't about to attack you, even though they might have a horrific ideology and be a terrible person. So, what the fuck do I know? I'm just a YouTube post, but there you go. That's uh, the Brookings Institute's new poll on freedom of speech on college campuses. And it's got some pretty sad results.